everybody. Uh, so I have a, a limb lengthening case that I wanted to discuss with you guys. Um, so this is not a very easy process to, to do and there are complications that can happen. So uh, I have a, a patient that underwent his uh, leg length procedure for his femurs approximately two and a half months ago. So he recently came in, stated that he's not feeling much of a change on the one side. Um, and sure enough, when we took his x-rays, as you can see over here, uh, he has a lot of bone formation. Uh, so what, what this is done, so this is the extra bone formation uh, that's occurred and it prevents the nail from lengthening. So that's the reason why he hasn't felt much change in the past couple of weeks. Uh, this is the other side. So here we measure and we can see how much bone is formed. So he's, so he's measuring at six, uh, about six and a half centimeters on the one side compared to the other side, which there is still some good bone, but it hasn't completely bridged over. And this side is uh, measuring at about 7.4 centimeters. So there is a, a difference there. And uh, so in these cases, you know, we have to go back and re-osteotomize and recut the bone so that you can continue lengthening. Uh, one of the reasons that this happens is because they just make too much bone. Uh, we try to avoid this situation by reducing the amount of calcium or vitamin D intake that they take. Um, however, we don't want to uh, discourage the other side from forming good bone. Uh, the way to avoid this is usually that we lengthen at a faster rate to accommodate the uh, excess bone formation. Anyways, I thought I'd share that with you guys um, to, so that you do understand that there are complications that can happen with the height lengthening procedure. But again, we take x-rays to make sure to try and avoid this as, at all costs. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Uh, if you do have questions, make sure to reach back to us as well.